Any magnificent bastard in the whiskey tribe knows that rule number one in this community is the best whiskey is whiskey you like to drink the way you like to drink it. Now, I run a tight ship, though. A tight ship, though. And here, the best whiskey is the whiskey I like to drink. And if you don't like it, you're fired. We're in Crowded Barrel's expansion. This is Crowded Barrel Alchemy. Obviously, it's a work in progress. New things happening all around us, including new team member. What? We got Pena. We're gonna go through, we're gonna try the favorite whiskeys of everybody on the team. If you like their whiskey, doesn't matter. If you like mine, you get to keep your job. But also, <laughs> give your honest opinion. <laughs> Okay. Uh. <laughs> also, if you don't like mine, I'm gonna hate you. So, yeah. I can't fire you, but I'll just hate you. Yeah, there's no HR. You're not gonna make it if you don't like it. Sorry, but I'll take care of your dog for you. <laughs> <laughs> Is this like a scheme to just kind of keep my dog? No. No. That's crazy. That is crazy. Let's just let's just have Sorry. that be the scenario regardless. Regardless of what happens. I now own your dog. <laughs> <laughs> this is very serious business. As you can see, I have my employer's scowl. I have my politician thumbs as I'm making important points that make you believe that I'm serious. First whiskey up, this is Daniel's choice. This is TX Straight Bourbon Whiskey. This is the barrel proof. He's a big fan of this and I agree that it is quite nice, but let's see what Pena thinks about it. First things first, I wanna make sure that you aren't looking. Don't look. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm cheating. We will reveal what the whiskey is and whose favorite you think it is later. Right now, you're going in blind. If you like too many of these, suspicious. These people are so fucking weird. All right, ready when you are. His eyes were really closed. I oh, know no, that for, yeah. for sure. Because you were like fake punching him? No. I felt a giraffe. I farted. <laughs> citrusy. Okay, all right. Ooh, I second his citrusy, it's, it's, but it's like an orange yes. citrus for exactly. me. Exactly. Mm -hmm. The orange and a little bit of the brown sugar in there. Mm -hmm. So do you have, have you been doing whiskey long enough to have a favorite category, a favorite bottle? Uh, what, do you, what do you like so far? Mm, so far I like weeded whiskeys. Oh. oh. You get the weeded bourbons, yeah. Are you gonna try it? Mouth it? That's, yes. uh, that's the uh, no. technical Sniff term. Sniff mouth it. Sniff Tongue and it. then you mouth. Ooh. Tongue punch. I like that. Okay. Tongue it. I'm getting a... Um, Pressure. <laughs> you only moved across the country for this job. <laughs> I'd be home um, if you went all the way back home. Dogless. <laughs> it's really good. I don't know. Um, <laughs> this is so uh, bad. Bad. <laughs> I'm getting a little like kind of medicinal like cherry. Oh, okay. cherry. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, 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 yeah. The end of it kind of was a little smoky. Mm, okay. I'm getting uh, like a, what's that, pecan pie. And then that woodiness that you're talking about, it's kind of like a charred mm -hmm. wood, almost turns into a smoke near the end. Mm -hmm. It's got an oily tongue. Very oily. Which is kind of nice. the cough syrup that I kind of Probably, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. First of all, do you like it? And then <laughs> after, do you like it? One out of five stars, how much would you give? Um, I'm not crazy about it. Scale of one to five, what do you think? Let me get try to be 3.6. 3.6. Okay. All right. James weighed in. Andalusia Striker. Now specifically, he said the Super Striker. I don't know where that is. We don't have it here, but this is smoky enough. It's a beautiful Texas single malt. Let's see what Pena thinks about this one. All right. Whew. On the nose. Like scarier than SITs. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Like, interesting. Yeah, yeah. Good on you for not uh, saying that you fell in love with the first one because you know it's somebody's favorite yeah. here on staff. That's how we know we can trust you. That's right. Probably. Unless he dislikes yours. Right. Then and you hate him. I hate you and I take your dog. I right. like the nose a little more on this one. Mm -hmm. Kind of slight honey, slightly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then also you get like an overly steeped astringent black tea, like you squeeze the mm -hmm. tea bag a little bit. A maple wood on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah some type of wood. There's mm -hmm. a wood character for sure. There's mm -hmm. um, this, that smoke element. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Velvet? You ready to go in? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I keep getting a button mushroom. Right when you said that, yeah. I can't taste it on the tongue, but it's like in the air. Yeah. A rice cake. A rice Ooh. cake. Oh, okay. okay. I can see that. What made you want to move across the country and get into whiskey? Because you're working um, shoulder to shoulder with Kyle in the distillery most days. Simply just a new beginning and a new chance to start over and study and learn something new. The aspect of creating something for others to enjoy. And whiskey is really cool. Your assessment of the second pour, what were uh, you finding on the taste on this? 
fucking nice, man. Yeah, that's good. Don't. I mean, sorry. I hate it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> little herby. Little herby? Yeah. Okay. Cut. Yeah, yeah. You know herbs. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I used to do before. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Whiskey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so your assessment of this pour here, that somebody's favorites. I'm gonna go with a 3.9. Three 3.9, nine. Three nine. just to spice it up. Okay. Now, the most important whiskey in the lineup. It's the one I chose. And I chose Westland. Now, this is the distiller's exclusive because I wanted to show off a little bit. Yeah, if he doesn't like this one, he's definitely going back home. A little bit of that, right? Yeah. All right, Pena, you're all good. Funky and fruity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Any particular berry? For, yes, berries. Berries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a Capri Sun. Oh. oh. You know how they come in like a like a foil little pack? Yes. Yep, the pouch. Get, yes. Has like a certain smell. Mm-hmm. That's, That's kind of what I'm getting. A little, little, little Capri. That's good. Yeah. A little Capri. There was a Capri Sun reference earlier today in a video I was watching, but it's not at all what we're talking about now. It's the. <laughs> you had Liam belly flop onto my nuts and crush him like a Capri Sun. Hilarious. Wow. All right. So what does it taste like? What are we getting on that? All right. Not so much berry as I thought. Right, it does switch it up a lot mm-hmm. of the taste. Mm-hmm. It's still sweet, but it's more of like a bready sweet. Bready sweet, Ooh, yeah. Yes. Maybe berries, but like berry muffins. That bready nutty. Yeah, it does almost get a little saltier at the end, which yeah. is interesting. I'm gonna give this one the four. Oh. A four? Oh my, my. Don't worry. Not everything you love is on the she line. She loves Just animals. She's gonna take such good line. care of your dog. Please? Of course. You can visit him, maybe. You know what's impressive to me about Pena? He landed in Austin, and before your head hit the pillow, you somehow scored a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just go back like this. Um, next one. Iron Root Republic. This is the Harbinger. Probably important that he likes this one, since there's no other person on the property that he spends more time with than Cam. All right, so on the nose, what are you finding on this? Stronger honey. Yeah, much more present sweetness for sure. That actually smells really good. I almost took a drink of it right now. It's a cherry note, but it's less of that medicinal cherry and more of like cherry honey. Yeah, cherry honey for sure. I get a strong caramel. Oh, you get a, yeah, Just yeah. Caramel. Big sure. old caramel in there. Okay, I feel like we should probably mouth it. Get in there. That's weird. That is not what I expected. Ooh. Not what I expected either. What's your mouth telling you? Rye. Okay. Veggie. Oh, wow, okay. oh, you get some vegetation in there. I got some too. Like grass? Mm-hmm, grass. But not yeah. the one that I like, the other one. <laughs> <laughs> There's a little sawdustiness in this one too. Oh, okay. Really? Mm-hmm. Kind of like a new barrel. I guess like the, the inside of a Pop-Tart. I think it's the strawberry one with mm-hmm. the crust and then it has the pink icing with the sparkles on top. <laughs> there you go. Oh, you know what? The more I go back to this, the more I like it. Yeah, me too. Because we had just tasted a couple, and so, but yeah. the second time around. Yeah, no, it, it opens up, it relaxes, those flavors seem a little bit more balanced. Mm-hmm. What's your rating? I'm gonna go with 4-4. Uh, four, four. What? 4-4. Four, 4-4, four. Four, four. Four, four. interesting. This one is a beautiful American single malt. He's got some smoke in this bad boy. Richard likes it smoky. Are you looking at a picture of your dog one last time? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Ooh. Don't, don't, don't. Ah, you got him from Canada. Sorry, this is bad. <laughs> All right, on the nose, what are we finding? Fresh avocados. Whoa. Whoa. I get like a, like a ham. Smoked, but also packaged. Fresh avocados. Yeah, there's definitely some of that, but there's smoke in the air. There's woods. There's some salt in there. You know, maybe a little sandwich in a glass. A little Sammy. That's kind of nice. All right, want to taste it? Here we yes. Go. Whoa. Well, oh, that's the face of a man who's not, not having a good time. It. Yeah. Back to like cough medicine. Yeah. It's got like a synthetic taste, mm-hmm. whereas the nose was kind of organic. Is this your mortal enemy? Yeah. I think of it being mortal enemy. One to five stars, what do you like? One to you five, yeah. three, nine. Oh. Three, nine? We're in threes. I feel like you liked it less than that, but you're trying to be nice. I think you're trying to be, yeah. Well, are you being diplomatic right now? All right, three, eight. Three, <laughs> <laughs> a decimal point. I mean, I know some sign it. language. What about? That's not anything. You... That's like a wrestling move. Yeah. You guys want to learn one? She, she does sign language. This is poop. Oh, okay. Thanks. I want a hoop. Okay, moving on. This is. Sorry. 
What is this? <laughs> this episode is brought to you by Helix Sleep. Now, if you've been watching us, then you know the Helix has been a long time sponsor and I myself have many, many Helix mattresses. These are premium mattresses customized to fit your needs, conveniently shipped to your door. I'm tickling about a half dozen right now. My friends and my family members, they're getting the Helix mattresses. Multiple people on the team who have got Helix mattresses. And these are not free gifts from Helix because they love me. They don't. They hate me and my face. Didn't you get one mattress from so Brianna wanted me to clarify the first mattress, the one that gets you, you hooked on the good stuff. I got the first mattress for free. The next five, how's your mattress? Now the things that make these mattresses really great, you're gonna start off with a sleep quiz where you're going to put in your preferences. For example, I am a side sleeper, so it's going to make sure that you're getting just the right mattress recommendation for you. So one of the coolest things is the Helix mattress, it's not a delivery team unloading it from a truck, it shows up in a box. Look, look at this, look at this. It's rolled up in a box, it's tightly packed. It's impossibly small. Even though this is a king, this is a freaking king. But first I gotta unroll this and then it goes, I'm not gonna do the sound. I always do the sound. I feel self-conscious doing the sound. I'm not gonna. Boom. You're gonna find something that's gonna be comfortable, not only for your good night's sleep, but also your pocketbook. They have flexible financing options, and they have a 10-year warranty, so you know it's gonna be good quality. And of course, your Helix mattresses is gonna be fiberglass free. You don't want that nonsense in there. So you wanna try Helix Sleep, you're gonna to go to helixsleep.com slash whiskey. You're gonna take that sleep quiz, you're gonna figure out the exact right thing for you. You spend all of this time in your life on a mattress, you wanna make sure it's the right one for you. helixsleep.com slash whiskey. You're gonna get 20% off your Helix mattress plus two free pillows. Finally, Banana and I had a fight over who got to choose the Ardbeg, oh God, the Ardbeg committee, the official committee there, they choose this as the, you know, the go-to, the quintessential Ardbeg. It's a beautiful Isla Scotch. If Pena doesn't like this one, he's gonna lose his dog though? My answers have to be genuine and honest. True that. <laughs> what the hell is that? What are you talking about? Give me more. What? God! What are you doing? What? Whoa! No, hold on. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, what's going on? Why would you? What's happening? Why would you do this? Don't look! Are you? There we go. That's. That's fine. And uh, go ahead and come on out. Let's Action. Assess the situation here. Whoa! What are you getting out of this? Oof. Very smoky. Yes. Very charcoal, kind of country. Oh, yeah. Smells like a barbecue. There you go. Damn right it does. Smells like when we're smoking grains. Like an old boat that's made out of wood on mm -hmm. a swamp. Mm -hmm. it smells like that. I'm in Florida. There's like an Everglades type of swampy quality to this, yeah. Should we mouth it? Are you ready? Yeah. Ooh. So it's a it's a little of the the barbecue wood charcoal yes. flavor. You still get that, mm -hmm. yep. but then it throws in some like kind of berry flavor. So it's kind of sweet. One to five stars. What are you giving this? Dang, I might have to go with four nine or a five. Fucking shit. <laughs> This may have gotten the highest rating, but I think I have a favorite whiskey, regardless of oh, this having a higher rating. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. The first whiskey, That's TX that. Bourbon. This is the cast strength. Who do you think on staff that belongs to? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it got the lowest score, 3 6. Uh, <laughs> your mortal enemy. I'm going to go with James or Isaac. Oh, You have to pick one. Who do you want to be your mortal enemy? <laughs> I think maybe James picked it. Dang, did you hear that, James? Wow, James, man. <laughs> Aren't you about to go work with James like in about four minutes? Yeah. <laughs> Your mortal enemy is Daniel. Oh, okay. Dang. <laughs> Whoa. Which, which is fine, because he's literally never here. <laughs> All right, so the next one, this is the 3-6. This is the second whiskey we tried. This is Andalusia. Striker, you gave this a three nine out of five stars. Who do you think shows that whiskey was their favorite? Richard? Oh, it's a James. James. It's a I James. knew it was James. That's yeah, a James. He's loving the Andalusia, the smoky bits there. Yeah. So this is a Westland. 
He gave a 4.0 out of five stars. But this is a distillery exclusive Westland. Who do you think that belonged to? You? Oh! He got it! <laughs> I am neither your best friend nor your worst enemy. But it's good. You don't I still have fired. a job. I still have a job. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was the important one. That was the important one. But you lost your dog, which is kind of. Did he though? I don't know. We'll find out. The next one was Iron Root Harbinger. Their straight bourbon whiskey. Who do you think chose that as their go-to? They only hired gingers there too. Brandon. Which is interesting. Brandon. No, I didn't ask Brandon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> who is it? Cam. It's Cam's Cam. Oh my god, that's Cam's. You work with Cam. That damn Cam. So wait a minute. This is the, your go-to. This is the one that I think I liked the most. Okay. And I think it remind. I think I liked it because the nose and kind of the mouth reminded me of the Eleanor. Uh, oh. And yeah. my whiskey that I've been sipping on recently here on property that I really really like yeah, yeah. is the Eleanor weeded the weeded five. Oh, nice. That's five. Yeah. yeah. So well, that's our MGP that we age in Texas and cook up those flavors a little bit more. You get to be friends with Kyle. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love Kyle. He's your best friend now. Cold Keegan. Cold Keegan. Good call. Going American single malt. But they, a lot of American single malts in here. Hmm. Who do you think that belongs to? Richard. There you go. Good job. Got him. Yeah. And you gave that a 3 8. If Daniel ever retires from being your mortal enemy, Richard can step in. Yeah. Well, let me just text Richard. Yeah, tell him. Um. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, go back. Don't backtrack. I think you could take him. You definitely could take him. Yeah. You could at least outrun him. Yeah. <laughs> now, the last whiskey, you gave it a 4 9. Mm -hmm. Holy hell, man. That's a good rating. That's the art bag, specifically the Ooh. which I've gone in record of saying Ooh. of all the art bags, the Ooh. is my favorite art bag. Yes. Uh, who do you think that belonged to? Hmm. <laughs> Well, first, I want to say the reason I gave this one a 4.9 yeah. is because it intrigued me the most. Uh, the nose was very strong. Mm -hmm. When I took it in, it still gave me the nose that I had, but it also was sweet. And yeah. it kind of threw me off a little bit and it intrigued me. So. Yeah, yeah. And it was good. So you were scoring for the things that are the most complex and a lot of variation, things that grab your attention. Right. But the thing you're going to be reaching for just as an easy sipper is going to be that 4.4. Right. Is that, uh, That's that a good Harbinger. distinction. Yeah. Yeah. Who do you think that was? Um, Brianna? Jeff Kors? Yes! Is she the most transparent human being on the face of the earth? <laughs> no, right. I hit it so well. You guys have no idea. Piece of my dog? Yeah, so I'm that, actually kind of bummed about does that, that mean part. That you don't get. It means I don't get his dog. One final score rating. Let's get one to five stars. How high are you right now? 